this year the headline is Stop Wars, Not Refugees. And this says Stop Wars, Not Refugees in Nepal. We have worked on putting a broad program together for all of us to learn, to discuss, to get to know each other, to do some networking, to get ideas and also to be inspired to take action and to find out what can we do in between now and the next year's conference, which will happen at the same time. You are living in a world in which propaganda, market stuff, communication information is much more important than knowledge and facts. It's like uh, about the peace, it's a real problem in the, in the world and it's now. For me, it's the peace education is starts from myself. It's exactly. not because I mean we shouldn't neglect that climate change is part of the reason why this happened. That there are so many people risking their life to get to Europe. War, religious conflict, non-religious conflicts, political conflicts. But what about climate change? Uh, but at the same time, when I started this conflict in Libya, um, a lot of weapons arrived to this country mm -hmm. for different places. Europe to decide something good, like give money mm -hmm. to Turkey, mm -hmm. they just send refugees for mm -hmm. create more problems. Yeah. Because when, so you make pressure on Europe, and Europe say, okay, okay, we don't want these refugees, so we give you money, and they stop the refugees again. Yeah. So it's just like play with mm -hmm. life, yeah. basically. Then four. Then change. If we accept that refugees are terrible and they should be turned off and closed borders and all that, the Europe we know will fall apart and we will have more warfare, more terrorism, more cynicism, more racism. And God forbid that is the way Europe goes. I haven't faced war like shooting people and seeing people dying, but uh, war has a lot of meanings and I think just discriminating people and seeing them being put aside is a kind of war. Why did he escape? Uh, get out of the uh, country? It's because no safe there, you know, the, the lives there. Uh, especially, you know, the people like me, my age, like, you know, 24, 23, 25. That age is to be a solidate, you know, and to fight. So if he stays there, then Behind every refugee stands an arms trader. If we can make that connection clear in people's minds that the refugees come because we have destroyed their societies for no good reason, this could be a huge nonviolent movement against war. We are from Nepal. Nowadays, it's a very quite disturbed out uh, all over the world. There is a war, so we didn't need no war. We stopped the war. We need peace. You make people fear, fear terrorism, fear Russia, fear God knows what. You can make people believe in whatever and accept that you limit their freedoms. You take their money for new weapon systems and all these things. It's doable. One, two, three, four. So it means every country in the world who will not support his war against terrorism is to be like a terrorist uh, nation. I'm in a desert, so it's yeah. Yeah, imagine I now. So <laughs> it's not raining, there is no clouds, <laughs> full of sun, <laughs> very hot weather. <laughs> catch some snake. What do you think about Peace Conference so far? Oh, it's really good. It's great. Lovely people and uh, I'm having a lovely time. So, yeah. so decision things made in Parliament are not for our uh, goodness. Uh, in 1983, Black July, more than 3,000 Tamils was killed burned down, that was arranged by the government and supported by the government, the policeman at the store was watching. Technically I was in war for four years in my first four years of my life in Angola. In Angola 
there is a tendency to be more together because people were fighting for 500 years against the Portuguese and then each other and then now people are just like, okay, fuck this, we don't want to be in war anymore. Now they are met. <laughs> Some were just I'm standing here and talking about with uh, about peace with you, but somewhere in Africa, the boy or girl in my at my age, she's at the war, she's shouting or she's screaming, and it's terrifying. It's cool in Sweden, and I was so shocked when I saw such a spoiled kids. They were crying because they didn't have a five types of meat there. And when I tried to speak with the headmaster of the school and say maybe we can. Uh, teach them about, like, at least to show some movie about the rest of the world. They say, no, they, it's easy to avoid the conflict than to face. So I think the most important thing for this education is to face the problem. Require the same rights as them. In the last day they were in the island and then is a, a protest, protest that we did together with the refugees. That they say we have the right, the United States military forces have the right to interfere in every country and go in every country if it is uh, against the national interest of United States of America. And it means that the interest, the national interest of United States of America, my friends, is this here. It's a whole planet. To defend the United States, you can attack people everywhere, you can kill people everywhere, you can take them in torture everywhere, because the United States is running this planet. <laughs> Food is wonderful. Look, look. <laughs> Let's buy. No wars, nothing like that, and just people. No racism, nothing like that. Just people talking to each other, and no problem with you. You, you see an Arab guy on the street, and you think he's oh, he's a terrorist. Or we know today from mitochondrial DNA analysis that we all come from Africa. All human beings all over the planet. It's a workshop where refugees tell their stories. Hmm. So you get live examples. You get live. It's images about how it is taken the boat. You will know what's going on in Palestine. And you will not just come and accuse me as a Palestinian being terrorist and killer. For me, peace starts when I turn off the light, when I uh, separate the garbage, when I, you know, uh, try to be more sustainable, when I close the tap, or when I help an old lady to cross the road. That's for me, peace education starts from. Peace out. I'm so, so thankful to the Peace Conference because I can conclude that after having the opportunity to being part of it, I feel a big change in my mind, in my way of thinking, in my perception about all these topics that were discussed. And I feel really inspired of uh, having met all those people and involved in all the, those workshops. from a little European, a small European country where unfortunately topics like refugees, like uh, wars, uh, global peace, military conflicts are very much manipulated by government and by the media. Four years old, completely scared and completely exhausted. We gave them a bed, a room, gave them a little bit of food and they went to sleep. Massive people has really 
bad opinion, they are ignorant and even un and unfriendly with the refugees. So I think that now being part of this peace conference, uh, I have the mission to open as much eyes as possible, to talk with as much friends, family, different people possible, just to bring the awareness of all these very important topics. Imagine all the people